Now let us look at stubborn links. So a stubborn link, the specification, we have a module, it has an instance, this instance we call it SL, and we have the event interface. The request event is just again sending a message from to this destination and the message is M. And then um, the delivery of the message, which is an indication event and output event. And this it indicates who is the source of the message and um, here is the message. So what are the properties of uh, stubborn links? The important property is so-called stubborn delivery. And it, that means if a node PI sends a message M to a correct process BJ and PI does not crash, then the receiver will deliver this message an infinite number of times. So, just to make it clear, here is our stubborn link components. If PI sends a message, this is a send, then this deliver of M at the receiver side BJ will happen infinitely often. And also we inherit the property of no creation, which we know it means a message will not be delivered unless there is a previous send of that message from a process. Um, so the abstraction of stubborn link maybe seems to be um, inefficient because you deliver the message infinitely often. But of course, in a real implementation, you can think of some kind of a feedback from uh, the receiver saying, please stop the message I have already received. Okay. So let us look now to the implementation of um, uh, stubborn links. And it, this is an implementation which is actually going to use a lossy link. So here is a stubborn link. Stubborn link component will be connected to a fair loss link component. And here is the send and the deliver interface of the stubborn link and in its turn the stubborn link will interface to the send to the lossy to the fair loss link and will also receive deliveries from the fair loss links okay so how we are going to implement this we implement it by using this lossy link and the sender will store every message in a buffer this buffer we call we name it send and it will periodically resend all messages in the buffer send. now let us look to the given this implementation let us look to the correctness of that implementation scheme Stubborn delivery. So because the messages are stored, all messages that has been sent are stored in the buffer send and repeatedly being sent using the fair loss link. So a large fraction of these will be eventually delivered to the destination by the property of a fair loss link. And this, of course, happen if the node does not crash. Okay. And that is, uh, uh, of course, as we said, a uh, lossy link may drop a portion, huh? but a large 
but as long as we keep sending it will be delivered and this is guaranteed by the fair loss properties of the loss ceiling. Um, the property of no creation is just inherited from uh, the loss ceiling. So if we look to the stubborn link in our former model, how would we model that in our former model? So as we want to have a stubborn link message delivery. Okay. Remember that we have the execution is a sequence of configuration events. And let us see how we can model the stubborn link property. And this we do the following. If a message appears, you remember we have every node, a node here, it has an out buffer. This is connected, this is a node I, and the output buffer will have um, links to the destination. These are messages going to from node I to G here. So the message appears in the output buffer for link I, I, IJ of node I in E, then we are going to redefine the delivery events, the delivery of I, J, M, from I to J, the message M. This delivery event in the execution will appear infinitely often without removing the message M from the output buffer. Okay. You can, in the same way, you can talk about uh, finite duplication and no creation. Okay, that's fine. Let us look to the implementation, and this is the first time we see an implementation of a, a component uh, and that uses another component, as you remember. So here we have a situation like this. We have a fair loss component, this is this one, and we have a stubborn link component and the arc connected like this. This is a send, this is a delivery, this is a Send, this is a delivery, okay? just an abbreviated here. So when you initialize the, the stepper link component, you initialize the buffer to be empty, and you start a timer. The timer will regularly, if you start a timer, after the time delay, it will trigger an event timeout. And what you do, in the buffer, Whenever we send a message, we store in the buffer the pair, the destination of the message, and the message itself. So, when we get a timeout event, we resend all the messages that are in the buffer. And as we can express it this way, for all messages in the send buffer, we trigger a send of M to the destination will trigger a send that goes to the fair loss link. And then we restart the timer again. If you remember from here, we can also get a delivery from the fair loss link. Okay, remember that. Okay, we go further. If we get a delivery from the fair loss link, then we basically um, deliver the message higher up. So just to make it clear again, we are getting from the fair loss link a delivery. This is the this is a fair loss link. This is a stubber link, we're getting a delivery, D, then we deliver the message higher up. If we get a request to send a message, this, this is send a message, then we, we trigger an event 
a request in the Fairdos link. This is what we do here. And then we also store the message in the buffer.